All right, welcome back to Forever Skies. We are doing another 500 kilo build. This is Blimpy 2. Why is Blimpy 2? Because Joni made Blimpy and she took use of a double large bloom cockpit. And she did it a little differently, quite a bit differently than mine. But also because she taught this old dog a new trick and it's how to get rid of uprights in your space. Notice there are no columns here. They're here, but you can't see them. It's a, a funny little trick that she showed me, and this is going to be in the behind the scenes. I have a five-part episode in the behind the scenes on how I built this, and that is going to be on my membership YouTube, but also if I can get the size small enough on Patreon. All right, so look at the backside here. It's come out far enough. You can see I've got a new turbine and engine design, which is very cool, all completely accessible from inside the, except for these two right here. I do have to go up onto the roof, but I'll show you how I can do that. These guys are fully accessible from inside. Everything works. You cannot exit the rear though. That's the only drawback to this design, but say la vie, I had to make it work. So it's two cockpits and one room. And yes, the elephant in the room, these do work. I will show you, we'll go up at some point. There are 16 containers in this, only one of them is out. This is my dump bin. So I pop in, dump any extra there. All the rest is lined up and it's all fairly organized. Like, you know, I got my lures and stuff right here where the lure is. Over here on this side, right next to this machine that you can see I can do everything. I've got that right there. And I've got batteries right next to it, and batteries for that, and batteries for that. So it all just kind of makes logical sense. I was going to make some form of a kitchen, but the problem is anything I put in front of all this makes it hard to get to any of this stuff. So besides something like this, maybe a standing-only kitchen, I didn't really have a lot of option. I should mention that this... Coming in at 474.6, this is the weight without any of the 25 kilo workstations. I have more than I've ever had on a 500 kilo ship build before. And it's, it's quite impressive if I may say. I've got double fridges. One fridge over here is for your newer items, but also all of your cleansers. And then your older stuff, food, everything like that. Speaking of, let's take some food. So, let's start off. We have a split of this. So you've got your greenhouse on this side, and you get your living space on this side. We come up, and we've got an office right here for us to do some work. We have the full set of the modish or cozy furniture. For those who are unaware, these everything you put on this snaps. I both like and dislike that. But the cool thing is I was able to snap the fabricator into it, and it's perfect. It doesn't stick out in any way, anywhere. It's It doesn't look awkward. It just fits. Yeah, it clips through the device, but it just, I love it. I think it's great. And I can still get up this way. I've got a full spread of our little buddies up here. Three of each. Got the big, beautiful bed. My buddy and I have one hell of a view when we're sleeping. Or just hanging out. Oh, I forgot to put a little uh, screen over here with a Firefly episode on it. For shame. So then let's move up. We've got the cockpit. So I fly from here. Yes, that's a little far out. I could always just put railing here and put it there. But I can see what I need to see. And you have this. You can tell. See, I'm not falling through. A nice glass deck. This allows me to get upstairs. So anything I need to access up here, like replace the filter, for example, because I don't have any water tanks. I was not able to get them. It's the way the water tanks deploy and an issue with crossing the beam of a cockpit. We have been begging the developers to fix it so that we can have objects crossing the beam of a cockpit, and they still haven't done it. So I can come over here, I can access the turbines, repair them, repair the railings that they're mounted to, anything I need to do up here with this guy. And it works great. And it gives me a nice little 
outdoor patio that I can come out and uh, check things out. Now that we have these uh, bloom, which weigh two instead of the four for the bigger ones. And I would like to see, honestly, it'd be cool if they do some glass ones also. That'd be really neat. We could have a proper glass deck. But, you know, this guy's sitting up here on some bloom. Tools. So every, all my equipment's here, all the stations. The stations just come out. They plop down, like right there, for example. So very easy. Got my med bay. I can access the engines. So if I need to fuel it from there. The other one I got access from the other side because this thing's in the way. I had to put this there. I'll probably move it to the back so I can access this very easily. Because in removing these, for some reason, when I tried to remove these, the back of this cockpit has some kind of collision that we can't see. And it won't allow you to place the way you do it is by placing this halfway over. So, like that. And then when you delete it, the beam that was there and the X that would be there, or would be here, for example, would go away. But the back of these cockpits, the starboard side of the cockpit has some weird stuff going on. So we have three engines, we have two turbines, I can get up to 94-ish speed and I can get up to 300, and then I have a third turbine right here. So I can get all the way to 320. This thing has 15 plant. It, it's, it's got a lot. I mean, like, I jammed the hell out of these things in here. All of this works. But it works directly from, from that. Now, that holds a lot of water. Still, though, that would have to be replaced on a fairly often basis, I guess you could say it. I utilize these instead of having the metal floor, which would give you light, because these weigh nothing. And then I could leave it plastic... It still paints because it's painting the hole, so it still paints it. I love the look of this. So this whole ship is winter. It's a very cool color. Yeah, look at this. It's not nighttime, but it just, it's got this really cool look to it at night. All right, let's go head over here. So we've got a ton of seeds. This is all like the extra stuff, so... You got your virus and boosters there. I'm a little low on them. But all your extras, and then, of course, you've got your lures. I really like this display. I like how it lights it up when it's not sunlight. It's very neat looking. This, I'm waiting on getting more things to place up here. I just don't have that much on this save. I've got my chaise long. It's very cool, so you can come and hang out over here in the garden in the jungle more like it so we've got lab up here you've got a whole bunch so I can get to all the engines everything's fine you can get to all the stuff I can even stand up on this and access all the water and everything up here speaking of there you go and it works great it's outstanding I got space for a bunch more I'll show you real quick on that so if I take this guy And I can come down here, and then I can use the machine. And it's perfect, because I still have 0 0.4 left with that out, but I have more machines out currently than I do normally. And plus, this thing weighs 10 by itself. It's a bed. I didn't realize it was a bed when I first built it. And then I looked at it, I was like, oh, sleep. Ah, I gotcha. So it's cool. We gotta, I, got, I got a bed for a, a guest that comes over. This weighs 10. I don't normally have that out. Of course, the virus analyzer over there it weighs 5. I don't normally have it out. So, yeah. It, it, it did really well. It's a very... Oh, yeah. Let's show you the proof of the pudding. Oh, right. I'm hitting the building. Let's uh get a, get a little twitchy. We'll get up real high. Oh no, it's so scary. Nope, everything works fine. I don't fall through at all, even if I'm like trying. And the reason I use pipes is because it has zero weight. These pipes weigh nothing. And let me tell you, 
doing this, I probably spent between two different episodes, I probably spent 40 minutes, at least 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, trying to get these things right. It was a pain. I mean, it was a real pain to do this. Besides the fact that it's hard to get a tank to sit here because of this curve like that. It, yeah, it's a pain. If we could just lay pipe without having to have a tank to start with, then it would be great. But you can't do that. So, we got some nice floodlights up front. It's very cool. Nice looking sun. I like that. Thanks for watching, everybody.